And the last step that you do is you just hit the competition spy link. You highlight the part that you want to research. You click search and you just wait for the process to be completed. While the process is pinging, I'll go over the numbers that are shown up on the first result. So here we have 19 products. Our web price is 180. Notice that the web price is red. Red means that you're above the average price. Orange means that you're at the average price, more or less. And green means that you're very competitive because you're at the lowest price or below the lowest price. So what you're trying to look for is to make sure that your web prices are all green. And if they're not, you want to run a price control feature against your web price so you can lower your price based on your competitors. So keep in mind that our price control feature says 5% off the lowest price. So in this case, once the search is done and I'm going to execute the price control, I'm going to go 5% lower than any seller on the marketplace. If you want to know who the sellers are, you can double click on them and it tells you who the sellers are, what exactly they're selling, what price they're selling it, and the URL to the product. This is a really good feature because not only does it ping all different kinds of websites, but it will also find sellers on Amazon and eBay. So if you can get your web price to be the lowest according to this tool, you're almost guaranteed to be the most competitive seller in the marketplace in the US. Not only can you feel confident that you're the lowest seller and competitive, but you can easily sell this product on Amazon and eBay and beat your competition. Now that the process is complete, I can see exactly which part numbers are competitively priced and which are not. And I see that the majority are not. Normally, you would not be able to research every single part number because this would take days, if not weeks, to go through every single website and check to see if the prices are competitive or not and adjust them. So this tool will literally save you hours of work and actually price you competitively for every single part number if you constantly execute your price controls. So notice there is an estimated price. The estimated price tells me of how much my new price will be if I to execute the price control. And if I scroll a little bit to the right, I can see what my cost is because I set that up in Shopping Cart Elite. So basically, I can see that my cost is 102 and my new web price will be 134 and I will be 5% lower than the lowest price on the internet. And we can even see that out of 15 sellers here, again, I will be the lowest price on the internet. So this is truly a priceless tool and I highly encourage you to use it within Shopping Cart Elite. As for executing the price control, all I need to do is simply press the execute price control button. I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. And it just told me that the price control has been completed. And if I click on the part again, now all my numbers are green on their web price because I am indeed the cheapest on the internet. You can also move these headers around. So if you want to organize it a certain way while double checking your prices, you can do that. And you can also rest assured that because you have the lowest price, now you can sell it on eBay, on Amazon or any other marketplace and you will be guaranteed to get sales because you're so competitive.